Okay, so we're walking out of the dining room. And we've got the, uh, just get your bearings. Here's the kitchen and family room. That's another good view for you. That fantastic. Here is the uh, pantry. This is motion sensor detected. So bam, it's on. Got a nice big pantry here. It's like some cheese balls down there. Go for that right now. Uh, this is nice because that's the, one of the garages right there. So you've got the tile coming into the house. Again, it's just a smart design by the build, builder. Here's your laundry area. Got it set up right here. This is pretty cool that they've got a cabinet over it. So obviously they had the front loaders. They had the setup like lockers. Love the idea. Pretty cool. Can't say that I've ever seen that before, but really like that idea. And another door into uh, the bathroom. Very neat looking uh, countertop here. Looks like leaves, which matches the mirror. Hand texture again, and a full bath. And this goes out to the uh, garage, which is finished. Extra tall. Hey, kitty. And take a look there. Extra wide. That's a five panel door. It's got to be about nine feet tall. And lots of windows in here as well. And a lot of good lighting as well. And finished, finished floors. Okay, let's go ahead and head downstairs now. Take a look down there. Notice the motion lights, or not the motion lights, but the lights for the hall, which is nice. And we'll head in here and take a look. Huge bonus room. I've never seen windows that big in a basement. That's fantastic. Gives it a much more open feel. Here is the, uh, seen this in the picture. Fantastic bar area. Really, it looks like a pretty much a full kitchen here, except for maybe the oven. Yeah, there's no oven. Just got the granite down here. They've got an, a dining, a designated dining space. They've got the uh, can lighting in there as well. They're in transition mode of moving out, but pretty phenomenal. What a great space. You have room for doing any type of entertaining down here. Looks like it's got the uh, built-in wire system up there as well. And uh, more bedrooms down this way, which we'll take a look at. Okay, so here we go. I turned on a few lights so we can see things. This is a home theater room. You've got the little step coming up for it, which most people like. A little wiring there, and nice dark room. It's kind of cool they went with the dark brown instead of the black, like most people do. Uh, it kind of matches the rest of the theme of the house. This is the uh, another bathroom down here. Most of the light bulbs are a little bit on the dim side. It's a full shower unit, just like the other ones. And this goes into the next bedroom, which I guess we'll cut through here. Huge windows, the woodwork again, bold nose corners, or rounded corners, walk-in closet, same level of uh, doors throughout the house, very nice. Notice the texture down here is different, it's more of the orange peel or eggshell, whatever you want to call it. More storage down here, got two water, water heaters. They went to the vinyl floor here. I think I pointed this out already, but there's central back throughout the house. Another bedroom with the uh, another walk-in closet here and a Jack and Jill bath with two sinks. Get some light and shed some light on this. And a toilet in here, and a shower, and here's the other bedroom. This room's a little bit smaller than the others. And another walk-in closet. And that concludes the tour of the lower level. More storage here on the right. And that's about it. 
Okay, we're at the back door off of the kitchen. And let's go outside and take a look at the back. And I've got the key with me, so hopefully we can uh, take a look at the other garage and what's above it over there. But here's the covered back patio. Again, the, the landscaping is just phenomenal. We've got a standing pergola over there. Nice long back patio, again covered. Like a fire pit area over here. Notice all the curving and the rock around the outside of the house. Very, very smart. Notice how they got the rain gutter with the extender that probably brings it out into a drain field, keeping that water away from the foundation. Notice all the fencing. like a separate uh, AC going over here to the other garage. The stairs going out to it. Another air conditioner right there. It's a well pump. Tell the roof's in good condition. Looks like he's got a uh, notice up here as well that he's got rain gutters all the way around the house. Let's go over here and take a look. Okay, so here we are inside the detached garage. I've got to say it's more than a two car. You can tell it's got uh, heating and air out here. It's got a pull through door. Fully finished 10 foot doors on there. Both the openers are installed. You got the fluorescent lighting and lots of light. It's kind of a dream shop. Really well done. Now we'll go ahead and head up, head upstairs and see what's up there. This is a Trek deck material. Pretty, uh, pretty sturdy stuff. Okay, so we just headed inside the uh, above that of the garage, and we have kind of a office area. So you got a nice big office here with windows looking out over the uh, water feature, which is pretty exceptional. Just beautiful views up here. You can see mountains over there too with the snow on them. You got the double doors in here. It's got more of the industrial style carpet in here, which makes sense. Full bath. And another room over here. Probably make a good workout room, or if you had a small business, you can have partners, one on one side and one on the other. And it's got the recessed can lighting. And their own separate view this way. Very, very private location. Pretty unique, actually. Okay, so we're out by the, uh, on the outside of the house here, along the side. And here's a much older building out here, probably one of the only existing from when they built this newer home out here. It's a good outbuilding. And one more over here. some pins built in over here. So if you wanted to have some critters you could. So pretty cool. And like I pointed out earlier, fully fenced, which is nice. And I think that will conclude the tour. Okay, I'll give you one final look of the outside of the house a little bit further back. Notice you have room over here to pull through to the back of your property. Huge water feature out here. Looks like it has a jet feature right here for a, uh, whatever they call that. What do you call that? Fountain. There you go. 
your electrical outlet right there. Beautiful pine trees. You can hear all these birds out there. Fantastic property.